Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. It's a little more on the Atom text editor, namely the Atom Live Server. This is very handy if you're testing uh, HTML and JS, JavaScript. Uh, it's really simple to install a server, a local server, using, um, using Atom. Copy the name of the package that you want and go to uh, your Atom X editor, control comma to bring up your preferences. And on the left hand side here, you'll see core editor system, key bindings, blah, 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 install. And right here, you'll see Atom Live Server. Then you search for it. I've already installed it here. You can see it's uh, I can I have two choices uninstall and disable I don't want to do either of those things because uh, the next thing I want to show you is well that it works so when uh, go back to the tab and this is the page I want to load but if I go to live server you'll see that it's starting uh, start on port 8000 I click on that and it loads a new tab for me Let's zoom in a little bit, and you'll see that it's smart enough to have already loaded all of the pack, all of the HTML from this folder. That's my project folder. It's already loaded all of the working files, the JS, the HTML, etc. And uh, so I can even search. Hello, that's kind of cool. Basic. Look, I can even search in the page. Uh, for the file that I need. In this case, I'm going to load uh, this simple HTML. There's no JS in here, so there's nothing, the server's not going to do anything. But it is running on, uh, on my local server, and that's all courtesy of Atom. So check it out. Atom, is, Atom Text Editor is well worth your time if you spend any time with HTML, JS. Python, etc. It's it's very exciting text editor. Highly recommended. Okay, thank you for watching and happy computing.